Next, let's introduce the functions at the top. Select. There are rich functions including select all and invert selection. We can also choose the disable fast drag copy to prevent the graphics from being accidentally dragged due to misoperation. We can quickly select the unclosed graphics. The graphic is just broken earlier, so it's not closed. If there are several graphics that are similar, we can quickly select them by select similar figure. For such similar graphics, we have another way to deal with them. We can get into bad modify, that is, we modify a single graphic, and the corresponding modification can be copied to other similar graphics. We added a lid now so that those circles are modified together. We can select all louder contours, all linear contours. We can choose figures smaller than the specified size. For example, smaller than a hundred. We can see those graphics are selected. We have a lot background layer. When the graphic is set as the background, we can lock the layer. Then we cannot select it. When the lock is cancelled, it allows to be selected again. We can also select graphics according to the tabs, such as selecting all circles, polylines, or busy curve. It should be noted that selecting from left to right is not the same as selecting from right to left. When we select graphics from left to right, only those who are completely in the selected area can be chosen. If it's from right to left, as long as a part of the selected graphic is covered, the entire graphic will be selected. Let's look at display. The first is the frame of open figure. We can see there are outer frame for this straight line. We can also display open figure in red. It helps us to quickly find the enclosed graphics after importing them. Display sequence tag is to show the processing order after sorting. When we click the function again, the numbers are gone. Display start point will show the laser entry point. Display cutting path shows the processing direction. Like this rectangle, it will cut clockwisely. Display travel path will show the motion trajectory of the cutting head among graphics. The yellow lines show the movement. Display macro joint tag. When we apply the macro joint function here, and we have made a lot of points, probably we'll forget each point's position. Enable the display, we can see very clearly all joints' positions. Let's see scale. Imagine we need a rectangle of 200 by 400 millimeters. We can enlarge or shrink the figure exponentially. In the transform, we can translate the figure. When we have more figures, we can align them to the left, right, or center. We can also flip the figure. Let's get a graphic which is easy to see the changes. Let's get an arc and uh, click the flip. We can see the arc is mirrored horizontally. The graphic can be rotated like 90. 180. The lease. 
After we select the graphics, we can add leads to them. The lead tab can be line, arc, or both. We can set the lead angle like forty-five and twenty in length. We can set a suitable position for the lead, like the part tip. Options here. We choose the closed figure only. Let's see. The lead for the inner contour is kind of problem. If we follow the path to process cutting, it will be a failure because we didn't tell the difference between the inner and outer contour. So the software takes both at the outer contours. So here we need to enable the identify inner outer contour. Then we find the leaves are normal. Just now we set the lead angle is forty five. We can see the lead of the inner contour is forty five, and the outer lead is zero at the tip. Actually, for the tip of the outer contour, the most suitable lead angle should be zero, and the cutting will exhibit well. So we made an auto optimization. When we need to cut some thicker stainless steel, probably we'll add a small hole at lead line, which will help to discharge slags. When we need to change the lead tab but keep the position still, we can choose it here and change the lead tab. Let's see the check lead lines function. We draw two circles and at least. Checking the leads, we can see various a prompt saying that incorrect lead exists, and we need allow some adjustments. We can see the lead length is too long and cross the graphic, so that there will be conflict between the cutting path and the lead line. Here at the prompt, we can choose yes. The lead will be revised automatically, and there is a simple way we can avoid the incorrect lead. We can tick the options here. Check lead. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get notice as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.